this is, I've collected some tools from various places, various people, and I just wanted to show you some of the tools I've picked up, second hand tools from different places. Let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing we picked up was this box. This was given to me by a uh, local guy that was moving flats and he put a, a ad in a local social media saying got a load of stuff to get rid of, who wants it, I'm going to throw it in a bin. So we got a load of old rubbish, we got some sandpaper, we've got a <laughs> ring mirror, we're not going to, uh, a rear view mirror, we're not going to use that. We've got a wire brush in fairly good nick, we'll keep that. Oh. Let's see if this works. We've got a grease gun. Yeah, yeah, grease is coming out of that. Let's, uh, we'll keep that. We'll give that a tidy up. That's in pretty good nick. It says foreign. Grease gun's always useful. We've got a... Uh, that's made by... don't know if you can make that out. I can't. Just a big Phillips head screwdriver. A wooden handled, this might be a standy actually, don't know. Um, flathead screwdriver, not too bad. What's that? That looks like a horn or something like that, doesn't it? Obviously, it was a mechanic. Is that a horn for a car? Lucas, something rather. No good to me. We've got genuine spare parts, Lucas. Again, car stuff. None of this stuff really means anything to me. Bit of plastic. I thought it was a ratchet in screw. Oh, it is a ratchet. Oh, it's broken now. The ratchet section's gone. Um, okay. Aha. Body repair paste. We've got the two part. Always comes in handy. You can use that for wood repairs as well. Oh, knackered. Junior hacksaw blade. <coughs> Paintbrush, Harris, useful, give that a clean up. This looks like body trim, doesn't it, for a car. <laughs> a gear knob, look at old days. Look at that. Gear knob, gear lever knob, gear flicks. In the box, new old stock. God, we've got some light bulbs here, power bulbs. This one will probably be of interest to scout crafter he loves his old bulbs some more bulbs what have we got here there's this fuel cap covers need some fuel caps couple of old cars there probably like a morris minor or something we've got a pack here brittle oh wow they're yeah, pretty cool little brittle spanners Full set, new old stock, never been used. NOS, look at that. And these plastic cases normally rip, they're normally falling apart. This is in really good nick. Oops, out of focus or not. Got a pair of like, linesman's pliers, Elliot Lucas. Look at the jaws on those, they've not been used much. Very good nick. Not bad. More junk. Oh, some like artist tool brushes. My daughter would love those. What is this? Rubber house gloves. Easy on, easy off. Hard wearing. Yeah. Likelihood of me getting those on my hands is pretty slim, but. Look at that, Delamar. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, that's a beauty. Colonel Sheffield. Don't we can put a new handle on that. I do like my um, wooden handled cabinet maker screwdrivers. Tip on that, seeing a bit of action. Have to reprofile that. I don't know if I'll bother with that, to be honest with you. What's this, a spark plug remover? Back. Oh dear, look at that. That's an old jar of Vaseline, eh? Does it ever really go off though? Jesus, that jar must be 40, 50 years old. So, someone's left their croissant in there. Oh no, it's not a croissant. 
looks like a bit of speaker cable or something like that that old bag that old wax paper bag look at that you don't see those anymore do you more junk oh wooden handle brush you can't beat a nice wooden um workshop workbench brush auto light what is this spark plug yeah we've got some brand new spark plugs got some tape pvc tape electrical tape 33 meters oh so that thing earlier wasn't a junior hacksaw it's a coping saw we've got a new coping saw here not new so a metal ruler is actually really heavy that, that is much heavier than normal rulers that doesn't bend that's not your aluminium one this is a steel one steel rule of inches yeah, inches both sides so it's made by raybone and sons that'll clean up nicely you can see it's steel but the fact it's rusted we've got a wooden school ruler super light made in sweden since i said that tall addicts are thinking don't tell me it's a barco ruler don't tell me it's a barco no name ruler some more spark plugs oh, an a a key yow look at that better be going crazy about that for his um instagram posts just a metal bar Ooh, junk more wires what's this spark plug box with some old wire and rubbish more speaker wires rubbish a bit of screws a bit of hardware what have we got in here looks like a top to a uh, container oh wow a little small feeler gauges there very small another AA key more spark plugs file without a handle what we got here rubber junk what's this another little pack all greasy there it's been well used isn't it so there's a screwdriver somewhere that the bits just drop in Empty handed, yuck, nasty and greasy, bag, rubbish. Oh, something was a Dulux car, probably like an old Toyota or something like that. Oh, padlock actually works, no name padlock. screwdrivers, more spark plugs, more bulbs, FOMOCO, genuine parts, Ford, oh Ford Motorco, so we've got a bulb there from the Ford Motorco, some more Dulux badges, what's that, that looks like a uh, dipstick doesn't it, more. obviously bits of wire, Paper, junk. What the hell is this? Is this metal? No idea what that is. Doesn't seem to open. Put down in the comments, people, if you know what this is. Probably something to do with cars. I don't know. Right, let's move this over, see what we got in here. Oh, we got another gear shift lever. Spark plugs all over the place. The other paper, what we got here? Wow, a lovely sort of stuff. Look at this Northway service station, Great Northway, Hendon, NW4, which is not a million miles away from where I live. Chevron, look at the beautiful handwriting. To rectify electrical system material supplied, complete HT lead assembly plug set of points to pump up hydroelastic suspension, all for the sum of £9.13 wow 
Look at the date of that, 19th of February, 1972. That's the year I was born. So before I was born, someone wrote this. What a great bit of history. Love that. £9.13. Could you imagine? Oh, it's £9.13 for a spark plug now, wouldn't it? Right, more spark plugs. More gear levers. Knobs. Bostic. It's obviously a hole stuck a little bit of something in there. Scrape for ice in your car. Right, what well, we've got on, get on to the top box. We've got, oh, look at that beautiful, lovely little cabinet maker screwdriver. Fits in my hand. That's beautiful. I'm going to give that a new lease of life. Some more light bulbs here, John. Reval, auto lamp, British made. I wonder if these old ones are bayonet cap. I can imagine so. All the old bulbs used to used to be no yeah there's a tiny tiny little bayonets on the edges there look at that bulb there that bulb's probably 50 years old never been used I don't know what that is something to do with earthing I don't know put in the comments below if you know what that is just some sockets loads of spark plugs the weirdest looking screwdriver ever look at that it's been broken off at the end so it's a torch looks like a torch of some description oops right. it's falling apart yep, it's definitely falling apart it's in the bin got a load of old screwdrivers um, sorry spanners one quarter What's that? Three apes. Looks like the end of the uh, dipstick, doesn't it? Just plastic junk. Oh, nice pair of short nips. Well, they've seen they've seen a life, haven't they? Look at the state of that. They have definitely seen a life. Some more. Another little spanners. Got a padlock there. Wonder if there's a key line around for that. Just lots of little spanners, lots of little junky bits. Oh, what's this? Some more like feeler gauges. A pack of matches. Oh, it's got a razor blade in it. What's this say? Auburn. That's St Auburn's um, Cathedral. Oh, look at that. It's St Auburn's Cathedral. Pretty sure that is. Wow. That's a bit of history. Oh yeah, St Albans news. Yeah, that's another spark plug. So this obviously came from a mechanic, which is very different to the next box, which is from a carpenter. Okay, the second thing we got is this old wooden carpenter's toolbox. Got a couple of catches on the side. It's got a key. The key actually fits the lock and works. Although it is a bit stiff and it's locked, it's unlocked. Unbelievable, this thing, donkey's years old. Got this off a colleague of mine, Chris. Thank you, Chris. This cost me the pricey sum of two fried breakfasts. He found it or he's given it and he, um, he knew I was into tools. He said, do I want it? Look at this, this is a beauty. Obviously well worn. Chris keeps asking me, have I looked at the tools yet? Have I looked at the tools yet? I've been about three weeks and I haven't yet. Wow, look at that. What does this say? Henry Diston. Wow. Is this... It's got someone's name on it. Rod. R Rude. R-O-O-D. Henry Diston. That is... Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Fits perfectly in the space here. Now what else have we got here? This is slightly rusted. We've got an old square, carpenter's square. What's that? What have you got in there? I think it's rude. J R rude. Rude not to. 
we've got here standard uh, I think this is plastic um, plastic hacksaw we've got a punch I don't know what that says on there I'll make it out don't know, I don't know if you can make that out punch have oh this is really heavy oh, a bit of play here different saw okay so this is a different back it's got a hole there so obviously the, the saw that they had in here before went up into the handle but this is a heavy distance as well no it's not for spear and jackson i thought that was a distance there spear and jackson looking at the teeth pattern it's more like a tenon saw rather than a dovetail saw Probably about what 12 teeth 10 to 12 teeth per inch rather than a dovetail which is more like a 15. Oh I'm excited to see this. This one's been protected in a bit of um fabric. Tiny little saw. Yeah this is a dovetail. Look how tiny those saws those teeth are. It's about 15 or inch there. Henry distant and sounds again a little bit of play there. We can tighten these screws up. That is tiny. I mean, big as your hand that's a beauty isn't it J Rude again so it's obviously a uh, a carpenter that liked nice tools and um, looked after them didn't want to lose them this is very light indeed it's like a no name brand I believe quite a rough pattern there hmm more like a gentleman's saw I'm guessing not such an expensive brand for someone like me, very difficult to get my hand around that it's just too small for my hand we have a, another punch there that'll come up on the wire wheel what we got in here oh wow look at that, that is aggressive it's a really really old style of um, countersink bit there Aha. Uh -huh. I might send this on to you, Ben, tool addict. This is the J Rude um, punch. I know Ben collects these. I've got no need for this. J Rude punch. That's pretty impressive, isn't it, eh? That's probably I don't know, 50 years old at least. Oh, we've got another saw here. We're missing a hole, missing a screw. Very thin there. Talking about 15 mil. Nothing on the saw saying who the manufacturer is. Probably just sort of a cheap local one. There's a beauty in the back there, all protected, and a bigger, much bigger square. Pumped to square. Somebody's telling me this is a Marples design. It's an old Marples one. Don't know why I'm thinking that. pencil with a okay jaws to a, like a, an old brace or something like that I don't think there's a brace in here though right we're going to come to these last I've seen these before right we've got some old eclipse handles there bought from the tool bar 01328 that's an old Bought that 1984, 21st 11th 84. So they're a fair, fair few years old, aren't they? Okay. We've got a grass cutter there, Shaw, England. We've got a drill bit, looks like to a, a Yankee screwdriver, perhaps. Not a drill bit, what I'm talking about. It's a flathead screwdriver bit, probably to a Yankee screwdriver. There's no Yankee in here though. Oh, there's the bag, Shaw's glass cutter. Because this came in. So a little bit of paper to go with that. And this cover, look at this. 
never been used spear injection that is heavy spear injection 99 looks like a cross cut saw it's been used fairly good nick though spear injection there wow in the bag still now the last the last thing in the box now the chap showed me this when he gave it to me i'm going to need the hive mind i'm going to need the experience and the knowledge of the people who watch the channel my viewers what on earth is this it's a pair of pliers that sort of come together but don't that's as close as they come i've got no idea what these are so I'm making a don't we can make out any names on there. Anyone know? Anyone who's got the wrong greasing book or spanners or wrenches, whatever it is, do these feature in there? Does anyone know what these are? I haven't got a clue. And I'd love to know. So that's the end of the Carpenter's Toolbox. And we've got a bucket of tools here. These were just given to me because, as people know, I'm giving them, putting together some toolboxes for local kids. However, I've recently been approached by a local school that said they want a load of gardening stuff and a, um, a load of tools. So I might just scrap the idea of giving them to kids because I'm only going to get six toolboxes and give them to six kids. I might put together these toolboxes and give them to a school when there'll be hundreds of kids will benefit from it. So we've got a garden fork, most of this stuff will probably be tut. We've got another garden fork, all this stuff will be brilliant for the kids there. Oh, I was going to say we've got a scraper, but it's not really, is it? It's more like a, uh, I don't know what you'd call that. Commentator's curse. As soon as you start recording videos, stuff that you know what it is just goes straight out of your head. So that's more like a scorer, isn't it? Perhaps for scoring wallpaper before you strip it, before you put water in it so that it get down underneath the wallpaper. Who knows? Garden, well that's pretty bent. <laughs> a garden trowel. Kids perfect. Oh, that's beautiful, I love this. Look at this. Oh, this will be a project. Looks like a, a bone handle, pen knife smooth as you like it feels like bone very rusty that's going to go in the evaporust and we'll see what we can do with that we'll do a project with that making that back to its former glory another gardening trowel uh, a gardening tool don't know what you call these please put in the comments below if you know what these are called are these like for planting or something i'm not too green fingered i'm afraid ah coopers they sounded like I ratcheted some secateurs brilliant for the school they will have that a little spanner what we got here special special steel made in Germany drop forged so no brand some more secateurs okay we got some these ones are bypass secateurs actually no they're anvils as well these ones another pair of anvil secateurs don't know who makes them. No mate, no brand on them. And another pair of anvil secateurs. In a bad shape. Might give that a go on a wire wheel before I give them to the school. A very knackered old handled scraper. Looks like someone's been using this for bitumen. Maybe some sort of roofing work been going on with this. Okay, so this is a silver line, so this is fairly new. Um, pruning saw I'll give it to the school if they don't want the kids to have it they can always say no draper 8 meter no 3 meter 10 foot again come and take this curse what are those bloody things called <laughs> measuring tape oh my goodness how bad is my memory just a Stanley 99E that's even better days isn't it I could be uh, going to the bin. 
a wooden handled feels like that handle's broken so I might have to put a new handle on this before we give it to the kids oh wow they said they wanted little small handles hammers look at that that's tiny is that a jeweler's hammer again anyone know please put down in the comments I mean that's it's so tough to get a um a wedge in there wouldn't it if I met a wedge maybe it's just got to drive some nails in if you know what type of hammer that is please let me know below that's what I don't know jewelers perhaps these feel rubbish yeah, just a rubbish per second to us yep bin okay bag of hardware can never have too many screws Oh my god, this is the second door's bucket. Wilkinson sword. Maybe they just need a bit of freeing up. They'll probably be fairly good for the kids. Bypass one, so the first pair of bypass in the bucket. A couple of alum keys. And that's the lock. Wilkinson sword. They'd be good for small kids actually. They work really well. Look how small they are in the hand. So for a younger kid, they'd be perfect. Okay. That's what's in the bucket. We'll be giving this bucket. This has got some old stuff in it. Look at this scythe. Look at this. Not so sure the school going to want the kids to have that. I've not got no need for a scythe. Jenks and Cattell is the make. Um, don't know who I'll give that to. We've got a pointing trail made by Harris. We've got another Harris um, quite firm, so that's a scraper. We've got a gentleman's saw, no brand, nice wooden handle, very, very fine. That would come up nice. I saw this, I, just, I couldn't believe it. Look at this Bartoline White Spirit. A water white spirit for paint, thinning, cleaning, and general purposes. This is not what got my attention. This is a plastic bottle. It's sold for 75 pence. But what got my attention, when's the last time you saw a metal cap on a plastic bottle? I don't know how old that makes it, but I cannot remember seeing a metal cap on a plastic bottle for years and years. And it smells like it's still fairly potent. White spirit, I mean, how often can that go off? How? Easily can that go off? I don't know. Look at that oiler. That's a beauty. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, it's flying out. Yeah, it's covered in there. Yeah, there's plenty of oil in there. It's got all over the wood. Mm. Just some plastic rubbish. Filled with plastic curtain rings. I don't know. God knows what that is. Uh, we've got some scissors. We've got quick drying exterior primer under coat. Most of stuff is junk. Oh, we've got like a distilled water dispenser. I'll put that with my um, car stuff. That will come in handy, perhaps. That's full up. Igloo de-icer. With scraper cap, clear snow and ice fast. So spray it out on your car windscreen. Scrape it off. That's, how old do you think this is? Wow. Wow, amazing. Probably older than I am. Cuff, but screen fly and black fly killer. Uh, absolutely no good whatsoever for the workshop, but plenty good for the garden. Stapler, more scissors. This is interesting. What's this? Covered it. Oh, royal raw plastic from Woolco. I wonder if that's Woolworths. Something hole plugging material. This is just covered in oil. Wow. Wow, look at that. It's like old filler or something. 
new old stock. Oh my god, you can see how greasy that is, don't you? Oil's come out of there. And what's this? What goodies lie in this grease covered box? Oh, just drawing pins. Gotta be careful, I've got no shoes on, I'm on the grass, so got one else to gamble. And my Tootsies, another grease covered box. Swing of staples. Look at that old box, swing line. Sandhurst Britannia Limited. Good old Britannia. Boo Britannia, Britannia rules the way. Britain. Hey, that's a, that's a nice old pair of bypass secretaries there. I might keep these ones myself. As you squeeze it, you can feel the spring depressing down through its various stages. They're nice. Glucoding Glucose D. <laughs> Medicinal glucose from Glaxo. This is an old, old box, yes. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, just screws, etc. More weather coat. We've got a really, really old 3 in 1. Graphited 3 in 1. From Carter's 10 pence. Wow. And lastly, we've got Fissons Liquinure Fertiliser. Not very green fingered. And in there, there's an old, in the oil, there's an old old looks like cigarette no it's just a, uh, a, a store okay that's all you got for me today slightly different video for me today i'm not done a tall haul for a while but a few of the viewers have said that they enjoyed that so there you are there's probably be another one coming along soon because i've got quite a few boxes of tools still to go through and i've got to give those to the school in the next 24 36 hours because otherwise they close down for the summer holiday um so thanks for joining me today if you're a subscriber already thank you very much if you're not please uh change that red button to green to gray hit the subscribe button and the notification so you know when uh, my next videos are coming out thanks very much see ya